Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to D. Nicole Speaks. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can get those notifications. And let's get it cracking, cracking. Let's get it cracking. All right, guys. So today we are talking about Clarence and Queen. And usually, you know, some people are used to seeing the negative side of YouTube. And when people do commentary, it's always commenting on something that is negative however i want to change the narrative today and speak positive and just give clarence and queen their flowers and just look at things from a positive point of view so we know they just purchased their first home so congratulations to them and let's think back and reflect on their whole situation the relationship how they started a lot of people were not here for these two um, I know a lot of people sided with Chris after the breakup. A lot of people sided with Queen. However, all in all, you know, a lot of people were saying a lot of negative things about their relationship and how it's not going to last. But here we are so many years later and they are flourishing. You can see the growth in each individual in this family, um, especially Clarence. Let's talk about that. Um, there was a lot of, you know, negative feedback stating that Clarence really wasn't into Queen and all this stuff. But what we have to realize is that everybody moves different. You really can't form a conclusion, you know, about someone that is 100% true just by looking at videos. I mean, there may be some signs here and there of different personality traits, but you know, a lot of people are just looking at the videos and reading into it and assuming whatever it is they wanted to assume. But um, yeah, he has grown so much. He's opened up more on camera and you just see him in a totally, totally different light, especially in his fatherhood. You know, when he's actively playing a role of father, not only to his birth child, you know, his biological child, but also to Queen's um, son. And just looking at this clip here of when they revisited the basement and we're talking about the old memories and stuff it just shows you right here how much difference it was then and now um i think with both of them even with queen um definitely her confidence is at another level than what it used to be um you could tell she's more secure in a relationship you can tell that um you know clarence is more open and affectionate on camera. You can just tell that they are happy, they make each other better, and that's what it's all about. And it's not to say that people don't have issues behind the scenes, people don't go through things. Every relationship, no relationship is uh, perfect. And you know, if you're really in it, if you're holding your, your partner accountable, if you are encouraging them, if you're writing them when they're wrong, if you are, um, trying to help them be better and also not neglecting yourself and they're they're reciprocating that same um energy towards you i mean you're definitely bound to be great you're definitely bound to have a long-lasting relationship something that is healthy something that is safe like a safe place for yourself is definitely bound to happen and i know a lot of people meet people and they say you know what this is my soulmate but if we really and truly look back at all the uh, relationships that we used to have and we really face the signs because a lot of people don't look at the signs or they see the signs that this is not a relationship that they are supposed to be in however you know just to save themselves the embarrassment or you know the heartache or the, the feeling of not wanting to be alone you know they ignore all of those signs and another part of it is that i definitely am very optimistic i'm an optimistic person when it comes to love when it comes to people being happy and having happily ever afters because i'm living in my happily ever after and you know the journey to get here was not you know all squeaky clean because i've had you know some exes and i've had some relationships that I definitely could have just called situationship because it definitely ain't got nothing on what I got going on right now. 
But anyways, <laughs> drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the video. And remember, stay positive. Don't allow anyone to rob you of your peace. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.